Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this preview of the game against Aston Villa on Saturday tea time, live on Sky yet again. And this game for Wolves is not as massive as it is for Aston Villa. If Villa, of course, lose to Wolves on Saturday, then it really does end their sort of chances of catching us at the top. And with Cardiff playing on Sunday against Derby, if they win that game, it stretches their gap to seven points between second and third. So Villa, it's a massive game for them. They're going to be really, really up for it. Wolves, the pressure's not as intense as it was, I don't think, on Tuesday night, Wednesday, before the game against Leeds. The players turned up and really put on a great performance in that game and set all of us a little bit more at ease. And with the gap being at 10 points now, if we do lose to Villa, then it'll go down to seven. But with, with 10 games left after that, you'd still back the Wolves with the fixtures they've got, particularly the home games, to pick up the points necessary to see us to promotion. Now, the game earlier on in the season was, I think, one of the best performances we've seen from this Wolves team. Still, they were completely dominant and in a game of such high profile. And with the Villa having been touted as early season promotion favourites, they didn't really play to the potential that we expected. And we really, really dominated. But since that game, the, the form of the two teams has been fairly equal coming up until uh, the derby on Saturday. I think that Wolves have the edge in the attacking front. If, if you compare their attack to our defence and our attack to their defence, I would fancy Jota and Cavaliero in a foot race against James Chester and John Terry. And that was the case in the game back in October where we saw Jota darting in between Alan Hutton and John Terry to set up uh, the goal for Bonatini. And... I think that will probably be the case as well on Saturday. In terms of team news for Wolves, I can see there being ch well, there will be changes again. You have to think because even though we won on Wednesday, N Ruben Neves will come into the team. You expect, and whether that be for Sice or for Undai, it's difficult to tell because I think Undai played fantastically well on Wednesday. Sice didn't do anything bad, but I think he's probably still not quite a hundred percent fit at the moment, and that could be the excuse for playing Neves as well. Also, Neves is quite more of a defensive-minded midfielder, uh, similar to Sice, and therefore I think you can justify taking Sice out and putting Neves in. Uh, let me know if there's any other changes in that midfield that you would make and, and give you reasons for it. And then up front, I think it's a difficult one because Bonatini showed glimpses on Wednesday of being back to his best and, and bringing in Jota and Cavaliero. He certainly does get the best out of those two as a pivot that we've talked about all season bringing in players and making little runs into the box. But he's still, his first touch isn't quite there. He was a little bit, he had a couple of chances that he should have taken and probably would have taken earlier on in the season in that first half. But a phobie came on for that 20 minute spell at the end of the game and took his goal really, really well. So possibly he, does he merit a start on Saturday? It's difficult to tell at the moment. I do think, again, the pace that phobie has got over Bonatini will cause more threat to John Terry and to James Chester on Saturday as well. So, personally, I think it's time for phobie to be given a chance. It's a big game. He claims that he's a big game player and it's the chance for him to take and uh, and show, him, show us what he's got. In terms of the defence, I don't think there'll be many changes there. I think Nuno made a good shout to bring Danny Barr in. The more physical presence, although Bennett is a big lad, He's not as physical. I don't think he's as brave as Danny Barr. And I think that's what we've lacked at, at points this season. And it is what we're going to need on Saturday. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content. There'll be a video up shortly after the game on Saturday evening. Very, very excited for it. I've been looking forward to it a lot. But there's not. I'm not as stressed or as worried about it as I was earlier in the week. I think if we do lose, which is possible then it just opens it up as it was open up last week. But then if you look at the fixtures that we've got next week against Reading and Burton, we should be getting six points from those games and that will see us into the 80 points uh, region and should be enough for us to just get the last couple of points to get us promoted. So enjoy the game if you're going on Saturday. Don't be an idiot. Don't be fighting and stuff. So just all have a great time. And please, one thing is I've wanted to say, don't sing Mind the Gap until we're 2 or 3 nil up, right? Because all that will happen is that the Villa fans will start singing something in response to it if they go 1 or 2 nil up. So let's just 
sing about ourselves, sing about how great we are, sing about the Albion going down if you want, because that's irrelevant on Saturday. But just hold fire on singing Mind the Gap. See you. Bye-bye.